Dinner's ready! Come and get it! Have you noticed something? Mm, no. Our food has been changing. What do you mean? Food has changed a lot over the last 50 years. Well, it's fast and easy, and we've got lots of it. You call this food? Of course it's food. Just read the labels. <laughs> okay, well, here. Have a nice, fresh tomato. Wow. It's huge. And so red. Mm-hmm. Looks perfect. But like most of our food, it's not nearly as good for us as it was 50 years ago. There's more nutrition in cardboard with ketchup. Is this really still a tomato? Where does food come from anyway? Well, that's easy. It comes from here. Look at all this stuff. Gee, I thought food came from somewhere else. Like here. Our food comes from a huge diversity of plants and animals with genetic roots from all over the planet. Sure, and we can have it all right here. The choice is mind-boggling. Not so fast. 25% of what's on grocery store shelves is processed versions of just one crop. It used to come in all kinds of varieties. Our potatoes, a few pale starchy kinds designed to feed french fry machines. In the Andes, farmers still have hundreds of varieties, but maybe not for long. So what's happened to our food? Well, in the beginning, people started out growing food for their families and neighbors and took the extra to market. But the road to market started getting longer and markets got a lot bigger. And then the world's food system started changing food into something else. What is food? Well, you need seeds, soil, the right amount of sunshine and rain, and farmers who know and appreciate the complexity of how all these things work together. Small-scale farmers all over the world know a lot about growing food. They have had about 10,000 years of experience. They start out with these guys. Seeds? Yep. Complicated little packages of potential for things like taste, size, vitamins and minerals, and armed with all kinds of different ways to handle too much sun, or rain, or pests, or diseases. That diversity is the key to a healthy food system. But if we could redesign tractors, we could probably redesign seeds and make them grow food bigger and, and faster, too. Or grow food in one convenient, package-ready shape and size. We can do that? Oh, sure. The MH1 tomato was even designed with skin tougher than car bumpers. Hmm. And the nutrition content? Oh, who's gonna notice? And anyway, these new seeds came with their own designer fertilizers and pesticides. Hmm. Gee, this can't come cheap. But who do they write out the IOU to? Oh, some very big seed companies, who also just happen to be some very big pesticide companies. Wow, these newcomers meant business. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of old ideas about seeds and soils and variety and diversity and farmers and food weren't really needed anymore. So just how does this new food get to our dinner table now? Through a lot of gates. Just how far does the average dinner have to travel? Oh, thousands of kilometers, give or take a few. And along the way, things have had to get very efficient. Meanwhile, back on the farm, things aren't going so well. What's wrong? The soils are sick and our water is polluted. Too much chemical fertilizer and pesticides. What are all these cornfields doing? Growing fuel for cars. And we're losing the diversity of the world's food supply about 75% in the last 100 years. What? No. Yes. 90% of the wheat varieties grown in China a century ago are now extinct. In India, there were once 30,000 rice varieties, but now only a dozen rice varieties cover India's major rice growing area. Really? 90% of American fruit and vegetable varieties have disappeared. We once had over 7,000 named varieties of apples in North America. Today, 96% of them are extinct. But we still have lots of food in the world. Oh yeah, sure. But while one in six people are getting sick from eating too much, another one in six people in the world don't have enough to eat. And climate change is threatening our food supply. So where have all the farmers gone? What can we do? 
Well, here's a start. Think about where our food comes from and how it's produced. Buy local, organic, and fair trade whenever you can. Support small-scale farmers who grow healthy food around the world. Make your voice heard by joining the worldwide movement to change our food system. Together, we can rebuild a healthy food system for everyone. We love the